Good morning. I'm back uh, to you once again. Uh, February the 2nd, 2023. And Father God gave me uh, a word this morning. But I want to get back uh, to uh, saying something before I get started. We have to remember as we are going into this year, the years uh, ahead, that we have to pay attention to our walk. <clears throat> If we're waiting on Father God to deliver things to us this year and in the years to come, we have to focus on ourselves. We have to focus on our walk. We have to focus on our heart, our agenda. Are we lining up with the principles of God or are we uh, running after self, self-gain and self, being self-sufficient? Or is Father God the uh, motive? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm a little hoarse this morning. <clears throat> Father God, is he the motive for everything that we're doing? And so this word kind of bring us back to remember, yes, there's blessings that's coming. Yes, there's great things that are coming. But we have to pay attention to ourselves, building our most inner man up through the spirit of God and that we walk in love and gentleness, meekness, patience, the fruits of the spirit because it's important. Father God is not gonna to release to us if our heart is not right, if our motives are not right. He's not going to release the great and awesome things to us. This is how we miss God and miss our blessings. Um, and so I'm gonna get into that because he just wants to remind us as we're waiting on um, many of us for the wealth transfer or promises uh, that God has um, told us that we should have. While we're waiting, we need to be mindful of our own character, attitude, uh, our own uh, mannerism, ethics. It's very important. And so I'm going to go ahead on and read uh, what Father God spoke to me this morning. And it has about three or four parts that he's uh, speaking on. So um, he says, yes, my child. I'm considering opening up doors to you, to your understanding concern, concerning shifts and how many things must shift in this season. Shifts are my way of moving one area or another into a place of use. I'm wanting to change the course of things concerning many of my people, people's ability to comprehend and grow in the area of complacency. And we know what complacency is. It's just not doing anything that's uh, relevant. Okay, let me go on. And grow in the area of complacency. I'm desiring many to come out of the obscured thinking and begin a new way of life in me. Many are stagnant because of faulty thinking habits. Habits that breed ignorance, to true understanding about my kingdom and my ways. <clears throat> For many to grow continually, it is time out, <clears throat> excuse me, it is time out for lazy study habits and faulty communication skills. I want my people to understand I'm in control. All things comes by my hand. It is I that will release and take away what I desire. I want true understanding to be delivered to my people that they are able to grow. No more time for selfish teaching. Selfish teachings. It's time to teach with a heart for my people. This is to leaders. <clears throat> uh Let's see where did I leave off at. A time to teach with a heart for my people. A heart to see change. I'm opening doors to many of my leaders to go forth and deliver a message about purity, stability, and qualifications. It will take a pure heart that I can bring many into a place of accountability about their actions. I desire a full cup not a half cup. To be qualified, you must be committed. <clears throat> uh, 
I'm covering areas of concern for many. I'm designed that many receive my best because of their willingness to be obedient in the things I have given them. I'm wanting to move more. Commitment is the answer. Commitment in prayer. Prayer must come before me. Prayer must always come before me. And so, Father God is, is trying to remind us, many of us are not where he wants us to be in, in our walk with him, in our spiritual walk. Some of us are walking according to his plan, but he wants us to ramp up our prayer life, commit more to him, uh, to studying and praying. Um, I had mentioned before that I was fasting uh, Mondays and Tuesdays for different reasons that Father God asked me to fast two days a week. I chose Monday and Tuesday. Uh, and as we listen to him, he will give us instructions about our fasting or um, prayer, praying more or things of this nature. But we're, we're asking Father God for his best. He wants to release his best. Je uh, Jeremiah 29 and 11. He has awesome and great things in store for us. But he's also asking us for commitment. Commitment in ways that we are drawn to his heart. And as we're drawn to his heart, we walk out the fruits of the Spirit. And I had some people come against me because of my uh, platform. And I'm okay with that. Because I know uh, the call that God has put upon my life. But we have to understand, if we're looking for blessings, if we're looking for God to move in, in powerful ways in our life, we can't have an ugly spirit. We can't have a heart that is uh, jealous, envious, full of strife. We cannot. And if any of my viewers are dealing with that, go to God. Allow Him to heal you and bring you out from under that bondage because hostility, anger, strife, those are strongholds. It's a bondage. And that bondage is to keep you from God's best. It's to keep you in obscured places, as Father God just spoken, where you're in a place where, where you can't receive, you can't grow, you can't comprehend or understand. And so he's trying to bring us into a place of wholeness. He said not a half cup, but a full cup. And so he desires so much more from us and um, from, our, uh, from us in the way of our attitude, our love walk, what's in, on, on the inside of our hearts. Uh, are we committed to loving the unlovable? Um, can we pray for people that has hurt us? There's a lot that God is calling us out of, out of ourselves, that we come into his kingdom full-hearted, uh, both feet planted, ready to run the race that he's called us to. Many are called to teach, preach. Uh, the the uh, five extension gifts are uh, necessary right now, very necessary because of the adversary and how he is coming about with so many wicked plans. Of course, God is going to uh, combat each one, but there will be some that fall through the cracks. Um, you know, and my heart is that we all see the, the fullness of Father God while we're here on earth. The, the, we see the, the blessings. We live richly, not uh, be, beneath our means, not uh, uh, with the poor thinking, poor attitude, poor in spirit, even poor in our pockets. God is not him. He's not called us to that. And yes, we know that the poor should always be with us. We know that. You know, the word of God speaks about that. But um, uh, for the most part, is that as we're waiting for the blessings, we have to be committed. Our hearts have to be right to receive the blessings. He is not going to cast pearl, his pearls before swine, meaning he is not going to give to those that are not worthy. And so 
for us to stay worthy, for us to stay focused, committed, uh, that we're not walking in lack, that we're actually getting ready to walk and receive these blessings from Father God, the things that he has in store for us. We have to have a heart full of love. So um, as I continue to listen to Father God and continue to work, wait on him to speak, I do believe that in, a, a, in the next few weeks we'll be able to get more instructions on some doors that have opened. They're already opened. We're just waiting for instructions to walk through them. Like I've said, many of you are getting ready to meet people in the next few weeks that will have funding or a uh, an area uh, or I don't know about if I should say an area uh, they will have some type of substance or something to give uh, to you to aid in what God has put in your heart to do for the kingdom uh, some of us will meet uh, cross paths with those that may have uh, property uh, businesses a business in endeavor uh, maybe uh, land, uh, whatever your heart has been before God that you have been praying and seeking Him about, if you are ready uh, in His eyes, not yours, you know, we all are ready, but if we're not ready to receive that fruit because we'll mess it up, we're not going to get it. You know, the woman with the talent, you know, what it talks about in the Word of God, uh, uh, that she gave her all. And then my my video just froze a little bit, and I'm sorry. We're going to keep moving. But, uh, you know, God trusts us. We talk about the man that went to buy a field, and then he, he had to have workers to come. And the last worker got more than all the workers did because he came last. But God says, I reign on the just and the unjust. And so if you was the first one that worked 12 hours and the last one came and he only worked one, God says, I'm going to give him the same. I reign on the just and the unjust alike. So what that means is if we're willing and working and able to continue to go before Father God, he has everything that we're in need of. Whether we just started with him yesterday or we've been following him for a century. He still has those blessings. He still has those doors opened for each and every one of us. But he requires our heart. He requires a pure heart. And he requires a, a people that love people. We have to show love and charity and gratitude. We have to. So just a reminder, I just pray that you're blessed. Today is Tuesday. Blessings to you, you and your household and until he gives me more instructions about the wealth transfer and or other things, I sh definitely will come on and share that we all get there together. Uh, so until the next video, have a blessed and awesome day. And oh, let me remind those that have left comments about prayer. I am praying for all your comments. I'm praying for your family and for your children. Uh, the, uh, and high up there in New York, um, and and the and the, the the young lady that has the children, uh, I'm praying for you, sister. I'm praying um, that the doors open for you, and you will be blessed and highly favored of God. Uh, but until the next video, I just pray that everybody is blessed and that Father God continues to richly bless your household in the name of Yeshua. Amen.